today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Selenium. So, first thing, let's open PyCharm and create a new project. Let's choose the virtual environment. Yes, so everything can be by default and create. Yes, here let's install the Selenium package. To install, very easy. Go to the command line and type pipe install Selenium. Yeah, and now the Selenium is stored. So the next package I want to install is the web driver manager. So pipe install. Um, let's give this one web driver manager. It will manage your browser driver automatically. You don't need to download it, everything. It will do it. Yeah. So after that, let's Create a file, test. So in the file, let's import the Selenium package. So from Selenium, import web driver. Yeah. And let's use Chrome as example to see how can how to use the web driver manager. So you need to import it as well. Web driver manager dot Chrome import Chrome driver manager. Yes. And you can set your driver equal to web driver Chrome. Yeah, Chrome manager install. Now Everything is set up. So now let's try to create a very simple test for it. And we can define uh, a driver then we the driver dot get google.com and then we slip here for a second to see what happened. Six, 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 six seconds, yeah. And then we run it. And there's something wrong is here. Let me see what happened. Oh, sorry, this one is for uh, Selenium 3. So, but now we are using Selenium 4. So it will be like this. Service is equals to Chrome driver oh, install. Yeah, let's try this one. Unable to obtain driver for Chrome. Can you please visit this. I uh, still cannot get to the driver. Let me see what happened. Mm, seems there's some error. Uh, expect type service. No, got string instead. Mm. Okay, so we need to install Chrome's import this as well. Selenium dot web driver dot Chrome dot service import service as Chrome service. And here service equals to Chrome service. Yeah, like this.
this. Yeah. Now it's good. It launched a browser. Okay, so the next step, let me show you how to do some actions in the browser. So let's still use the Google website as an example. Here, if we, imagine if you want to search something, so what is the step? First, you need to type something into here. Then you click the search button, right? So the first step, we need to know where the element is on the UI. So how to do that? We can use, we call it locators in Selenium. So what is locators? It's a way to find the purple elements you want to interact with. There is a multiple way to Locate the elements. The most popular one, such as XPath, tag name, ID, CSS. Yeah, let me show you how to how, how to find it. So, for example, this one, the input field. If you click here, the arrow, uh, the arrow icon, and then you move your mouse into the elements. So here on the right hand side, you will see the tag. So within the tag, you can see the attribute, the HTML attribute. So sometimes they provide an ID or some kind of um, special attribute to help to locate. But for Google's website, let me check if there is one. Um, yeah, this ID seems not a unique a string maybe every time it will be different so there's not a static way uh, but anyway it's, it's fine we can use the the tag name this one so to check to to test the locator we can you can just uh, search from here okay now there is four text error field means we cannot use it. We have to make sure the locator is unique. So let's try use some other field this time. Um, maybe this one, the title, this attribute. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, so let's try use the title, right? So use the title, we have to create an XPath. XPath tag name is text area. Right? And the title equals search. Yeah, so here, this is unique. So there's only one that can match this uh, x bus so but we can use this one and then at this point let's go back to the code and we can define this uh, element in, in in this file so we can take uh, give it a name like search input right box x pass is this one and then we need another uh, locator which is the search button right once you type something and click search so search button the same thing we locate the button this one and we find a unique uh, value to locate this button maybe I'm thinking uh, this one, right? The value is Google search. So let me try this. So here, this is the input and the value is, let me test. Oh, there's two, two result. 
means we cannot use let me see this one and since there is not a unique uh, uh, attribute can represent this button so I will introduce another way to to search it so which is we can simulate the um, the keyboard so what I'm gonna do is first thing we import the selenium uh, keys right and here instead of locate element and simulate the click button I will just run this driver dot send key. Oh, the set key is not here, so we need to locate an uh, element as well, and and then we uh, send the key. So we can look at. Yeah, so here is very easy. We can locate this form here, right? So this is, will, has to be unique, right? So I say a form. Right here and driver dot find elements form and send key key enter or yeah we can just use this so we need we don't need this yeah this should work so let's try yep it works so now you see we control the browser to type hello world and press enter. All right, that's everything I want to show you in this video. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And I will show you more interesting related to Selenium in the next video.